Hi, my name is Jordan Nenig. I'm a reporter with the Journal Sentinel. I'm here with Tim Wachter. He's a sheepshead instructor at German Fest, and he's going to teach us how to play. Uh, so for purposes of today's video, uh, I'll be teaching you how to play five-handed call and ace sheep's head. Uh, this is a popular version of the game in the southeastern Wisconsin area. So needed for the game uh, are, well, obviously five players uh, along with a 32-card deck. Uh, you take a standard deck of cards and you remove uh, all the cards that are two through six. We only pay, play with the aces through seven. The deck itself then is divided into four types of uh, suits, if you will. The trump suit consists of queens, jacks, and diamonds. The other suits are clubs, hearts, and spades. The ranking for the cards, for the trump cards, are queen of clubs, Queen of Spades, Queen of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, then Jack of Clubs, Jack of Spades, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds. The Diamonds go in order of Ace of Diamonds, Ten of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Nine, Eight, and Seven. Those are the most powerful cards in the deck. The Fail Suit then follows the Diamonds, which are, again, as you can see, Ace of Clubs, Ten of Clubs, King of Clubs, Nine, Eight, and Seven. Hearts and Spades follow the same. There are also 120 points in a deck. Aces are worth 11. Tens are worth 10. Kings are worth 4. Queens are worth 3. And Jacks are worth 2. The object in any particular hand that you're playing is to accumulate 61 points or more. Now we'll go to the deal. Uh, dealing cards in Sheep's Head is somewhat unique to any other game. The cut is offered to the person to the right of the dealer. The deal then proceeds to the left, but it's dealt three cards at a time. Two cards are then placed in the blind with the remaining cards dealt out three at a time to each player. Player one is the dealer for this hand. The blind is offered to each player starting to the left of the dealer. Ultimately there are going to be two players against three players. The purpose of the blind is to offer the two-player team somewhat of an advantage to help them in their scoring. Player one dealt. Player two has the first option to pick the blind, which are the two cards in the middle of the table. The person who picks the blind must be confident enough that they're going, they and their partner are going to be able to accumulate 61 points. Since player two does not have any trump, the power cards, they would not want to pick and therefore pass. Player three, on the other hand, has three queens and a jack and an eight of diamonds. They have a very powerful hand. They would be likely to pick. So they'll pick the cards, place them in their hand, and review what they have in their hand. They are now allowed to bury two cards or put those on the side. Their choice would probably be selecting the Ten of Clubs and the King of Spades. That would give them 14 points. They must leave one, one fail card in their hand, which would be the Seven of Spades. From here, they would call an Ace, and the Ace must be the fail of the card that is in their hand. The seven of spades would call the, or that player three would call the ace of spades. That would be player number two. Please keep in mind we're playing this open-handed so that everybody can see what's going on. In a normal game, the only player at this point that would know that they are partners with, with the picker is player two because no one else would know. Until the ace falls, no one's going to know who the partner is.
So the person to the left of the dealer plays the very first card. So that would be player number two. Player number two is the partner. They do not need to know who the partner is. So they're going to want to play a card that will hopefully allow their partners to be able to take the trick. The best choice for this would be the king of clubs. Player number three must follow suit. Since they can't follow suit, they have no clubs in their hand. Please remember that the Jack of Clubs and Queen of Clubs are not considered clubs, they are considered trump. That player can then play any card he chooses, and since it's worth four points, he would probably want to play the Jack of Clubs. Player number four must play uh, a, a club. They have two choices. Nine of clubs or ace of clubs. They play the ace of clubs. Player number five does not have any clubs. He can now choose to play a different card if he would like. In his case, since he has the ability to go higher than the jack of clubs, he would want to play the queen of spades, thus taking the trick if player one doesn't trump over him. Player one now plays the final card. Again, the player one does not have any clubs. He has a choice of what cards he can play. In this case, he would want to play the ten of hearts, putting more points on there, hoping that the player number five is his partner. Player number five has the highest card and takes the trick. They put the cards by the side. Player five now gets to choose a card to play. Ace of spades was called. Most players want to know who the partner is. So he would lead the ten of spades. Player number one must follow suit. Player number two is the partner. The only card he has is the ace of spades. If he had another spade, he would still have to play the ace of spades. If the called suit is played, the ace of spades must be played. Player number three then follows suit as he must. Player number four plays the nine of spades. In this case, the ace of spades is the highest ranking card. It takes the trick. Those points go with player number two. Player number two now needs to play another card. Since he played clubs earlier, he would want to play clubs again. Player number three has no clubs and would want to trump that. He would play the Queen of Diamonds or Queen of uh, Hearts. Player number four has a nine of clubs. He must play that card. Player number five does not have any clubs. He can play any cards he wants. His jacks are not higher than the queen. Therefore, he would play the seven of hearts. Player number one does not have any clubs either. Uh, he cannot over-trump the queen. He would therefore play the seven of diamonds. Player number three would take the trick with the queen. Player number three now gets to lead. They would lead their largest card, their most powerful card, the queen of clubs. Player four has to follow suit. He cannot over-trump, therefore he would play the nine of diamonds. Player five cannot over-trump and take it, so he would play the jack of diamonds. Player one cannot over-trump. He would therefore play the least number of points, giving those to the, to the picker and partner. And he would play the king of diamonds. And player number two uh, would, could play any card, uh, probably the eight of hearts. Player three, again, has the most powerful card. He takes the trick. He gets the lead again. Again, he would lead from the top. His most powerful card is the queen. He would have to follow with the jack. Player five would have to follow with the jack. Player one would, again, cannot over trump. He would play the lower of the two, the ten, giving the least number of points possible. Player number two would play either card. Again, player three is takes the trick. 
Player three now plays their last card. It happens to be trump. Player four does not have a trump. Player five does not have a trump. Player one does have a trump. The ace of diamonds. And player two has to, follow, or has to play their last card. The ace of diamonds takes the trick. For purposes of scoring the hand, players two and three combine their tricks that they've taken together. Players one, five, and four combine theirs. We've now combined the hands for both the picker and player partner and for the other three players. We start by adding the aces, then tens, kings, queens, jacks. Those are the cards that have point values. 64. So the picker and player have, have got a score of 64 points. If we look at the other team, 56. So we verified that the total of the entire deck is at 120. The picker and partner must score 61 or more to win points. So we just determined that the picker and partner scored 64. So they did they did win the the hand on a tournament score sheet player three was the picker he earned two points player two was the partner he earned one point the remaining players each lost one point the total for each hand should always total zero so if people want to learn how to play sheep said uh at german fest where can they go uh, we have what's called the Sheep's Head Tent, uh, and uh, I'd like to invite everybody to come down. Um, I will be teaching, if you don't know how to play, I'll be teaching on uh, Friday, two sessions, uh, Saturday, three sessions, and on Sunday, two more sessions. So uh, it's a good opportunity to learn. Uh, after you've taken a session, if you feel bold enough, you can... Uh, sign up and actually play in one of the rounds in the tournament and have some fun, get a little practice. Um, basically, uh, for one round, it's, uh, it's $3. If you uh, buy two tickets and play in two rounds, it's $5. And all proceeds go to support German Fest. All right, great. We'll see you there. All right. Thank you. <laughs>